So if you installed the recommended applications from the previous video, uh, before you can use a couple of them, you need to set the path in the environment variables. Lots of fun. Um, maybe when you install the applications, it left some icons up here on your desktop. We won't be needing those really. You could double click on NASM. It won't even launch. It's not that type of application. It's meant to be run from the command line. I do, however, like to uh, drag Notepad down here um, in, into my uh, quick launch bar, you know, but uh, these we won't be needing. You can just trash those. Um, we do, however, need to set up some environment variables to get there. You can go down here to the search bar and type environ. Just be start typing environment till you see this, and then you hit enter, and it takes us to the correct page on system properties. And we need to go down here and click on environment variables, and select path. Okay, and now don't click new here. Now we want to um, select edit, and then go new here, and then we'll go browse like that. Uh, and we want to find our applications folder on the C disk, not app, yeah, application, program files. There we go. Uh, first one we're going to want is NASM. There. Just select the folder and go. Okay. That's all we need to do. Uh, new, again, uh, browse. Uh, and let's go back to the C program files and go down a bit and find Kimu. Q-E-M-U, and click OK, and that's it. Uh, we're done setting those up. We want to click OK, 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 or everything we just did is for nothing. OK? OK, great. Uh, next thing we want to do, uh, let's see. So let me open my file explorer, go to our documents assembly, and there's our test.asm. Uh, if I right click on that and go open with choose another app, okay, and then you select always open, use this app to open, uh, but uh, Notepad probably won't appear on your list yet, um, so you have to go more apps. And it won't be on that list either. It is on mine because I've been using it, but uh, you probably ain't on yours. So we've got to look for it uh, in the, that program files. Find that again if it's not already queued as it is in mine. Uh, notepad folder. And there, Notepad. Double click or uh, open there. Great. Now, from now on, uh, that's your preferred uh, editor. So I could go now. Uh, to the Windows R, run the command line, um, go like here, I want to go here, let me left click here, and that uh, all those foldery things disappear, and uh, now the uh, path is selected, I can go control C, go uh, back over here, and just right click, and it pastes it, oh, uh, I'm sorry, hang on, hang on, uh, I gotta go C, D, space, right click enter there now i'm in the assembly folder so um uh, now all i have to do is type name of file i can go t tab for autocomplete hit enter and boom it launches notepad from the command line very nice another quick thing just just to fake out the system here I might as well i'm just going to rename this real quick and it'll complain i don't care i'm going to call it a binary file boom Ooh, it might become unstable Ooh, uh too bad uh okay i'm going to do the same thing now i'm going to say um open with um and we want our hex editor let's go more apps la 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 more apps HXD, right there, HXD, EXE, open. Okay, there, wonderful. Now we are set up to read binary files from our hex editor, so, uh, I mean, from our command line, yeah, using our hex editor, wonderful. So that means I could, if I, if I had a binary file, uh, I could uh, just call it by name, I don't, uh, which I just renamed that binary, so I could just call, uh, 
T tab and it should launch it. Yeah, is, is because it thinks it's a binary file at the moment. Great, wonderful. So now our hex editor also works. Let's go back and change that back to the proper extension here. Documents, assembly, there. That is not a binary file. Let's rename it to an ASM file and we are good to go. So now there I can just double click that. It will should always launch notepad from now on. There. Okay, great. All set up, I think. Hopefully it all works. Okay, so all set up. Our environment variables, we can do everything we want to from the command line. So let's uh, do some of that in the next tutorial.